This is Zeno Robinson, the voice of Cyborg, and you're listening to Whelmed, The Young Justice Files. Recognized, Emily of Arden, D, 1, 2. Hello, team. Welcome to Intel Update number 15. This is Emily, and we have a few things to talk about. The Whelmed team wants to state, first and foremost, Black Lives Matter. If you've been online, watched the news, or looked out your window onto a city street over the past few weeks, then you're aware of the protests and calls to action happening in the wake of the murders of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, many others, and the ongoing racism and police brutality happening in America. Here at Whelmed, we stand with those protesting and support their efforts to change the world. And we hope all of our listeners do too. So, this is a call to action to our audience. Every member of the Whelm production team has been donating on our own, sometimes privately and sometimes publicly, to organizations helping to protect and aid protesters, as well as those fighting for racial equality in other ways. Through our Patreon funds, our team has also donated $500 to the Equal Justice Initiative, an organization that, to quote their website, is committed to ending mass incarceration and excessive punishment in the United States, to challenging racial and economic injustice, and to protecting basic human rights for the most vulnerable people in American society. Thank you to all of our patrons for making that donation possible, and you can find a link to their website in the show notes if you'd like to learn more. We've also been listening, learning, educating ourselves and trying to amplify Black voices, not just in times of crisis, but always. We ask all of you to do the same. If you're out protesting, thank you for doing that hard and difficult work. Please stay safe, keep others safe, and keep fighting to make the world a better place. But please do not forget that we are also living through a pandemic right now. Wear a mask. Try to keep distance between you and other people if you can. And follow other health and safety guidelines. All of that is still important work that saves lives too. If you can't attend a protest for whatever reason, there are other ways you can help. Donate to organizations working on the front lines to improve the world. We'll have links to a few down in the show notes, but there are countless lists across the internet you to find one that speaks to you and what you feel needs to be addressed right now. If you can't donate, sign petitions, write emails to local government or other organizations, and use your platform and your privilege, if you have it, to spread helpful information during this time. We were not all built to fight the same way. There's a reason the Young Justice team has heroes of all powers and skill sets, but we can all help somehow. This work does not stop after a week or two or three of protests. And while change has already started to occur in several cities across America, we can't let up. Please take care of yourselves, take care of others. Take breaks when you need to. Getting overwhelmed to the point of inaction helps no one. But do not become complacent. And do not sit back thinking that the work is done now, just because a few things have changed. Keep fighting for justice and equality. Keep amplifying Black voices in this struggle. Keep supporting Black creators, whether that's artists, writers, actors, YouTubers, cosplayers, business owners, and more. And keep educating yourselves on what's going on and how you can help change it. 
We also want to take a few minutes to give a shout out to the incredible Black creatives who make Young Justice possible. In the voiceover booth, there are so many talented actors who bring the characters we love to life. Kari Payton, who plays Calder, Jefferson Pierce and Black Manta, Masasa Moyo, who plays Bumblebee, Cat Grant, and Wendy Harris, Kevin Michael Richardson, who plays Martian Manhunter, Mal Duncan, Nabu, and John Stewart, Phil Lamar, who plays Aquaman, Green Beetle, and Dubalex, Kevin Gravius, who plays Black Beetle, Zeno Robinson, who we were lucky enough to have as a guest on our own show, who plays Cyborg, Brighton James, who plays Static, Denise Boutet, who plays Rocket, and Lynn Stewart Pierce, Cree Summer, who plays Tula and Mary West, Cheryl Lee Ralph, who plays Amanda Waller, Tony Todd, who plays Icon, Keith David, who plays Mongul, Jennifer Lewis, who plays Olympia Savage, Beth Payne, who plays Sarah Charles and Lenore Paris, Michael Leon Woolley, who plays Darkseid. We also want to give a shout out to the incredible Black creatives working behind the scenes to make Young Justice happen. Matthew Bordnave, who is a storyboard artist. Jerome K. Moore, a character designer. Damon Morin, a prop designer. Chris Copeland, who is a storyboard artist. Allison Smith, a storyboard revisionist. Jarrell Dampier, a storyboard revisionist as well. And Chris Berkeley, an incredible director. If you know of any other Black creatives that have worked on Young Justice, please let us know so we can expand this list. And for those of you, and for those of you wondering what's happening with the podcast, we're currently on hiatus. We intended to only take a short break after the end of season three, but then a pandemic happened and is still happening, and we had to adjust. We all had our own work, our own families, our own lives to focus on during a very difficult time. I had to graduate college. (laughs) The past couple of weeks didn't seem like the right time for us to start coming back. But we are making plans, and we'll let you all know when we're up and running again. While you wait for our show to come back, and even after we return, support Black creators and creators of all marginalized identities. Seek out their work, listen to their podcasts, watch their videos, share their art, read their books, play their tabletop RPGs, support their creativity. Here, we discuss a show about young people who happen to be heroes not because of their superpowers or their training, but because of the actions they choose to take. It's long past time for all of us to follow their example. Black lives matter. We here at Whelmed firmly believe that, and we are doing our own work to amplify Black voices, support ongoing and systematic change, and educate ourselves on how we can be better allies. We hope you all do the same. So, before we head out of the Watchtower... Happy Pride Month. Keep on fighting. And stay whelmed, everyone. You've been listening to Whelmed, the Young Justice Files podcast. Our hosts are Rich Howard and Emily Booza. Our editor and producer is Neil Powell. Our theme was composed by Emily Mio. Our logo was created by Kevin Bates. Whelmed is a fan-made podcast and is not officially affiliated with DC Comics, DC Entertainment, Warner Brothers Animation, and any other owners of Young Justice or its related source material. As such, these companies have sole ownership of all symbols, images, names, logos, and proprietary material related to Young Justice.
Original content of this podcast is ours under Creative Commons. Thanks for listening, and stay whelmed. Stay whelmed.